HS2 is now buying the property it needs. But what does that mean for the people and businesses along the route? I'm off to meet some of them in this trusty camper van. Its top speed, a sedate 60 miles an hour. The Sweetland Bakery is in northwest London. It specialises in Middle Eastern pastries. And this is the baklava this production. This one, the production. I have several baklava. I have sugar-free, I have veggie vegan also as well. We have this one. It's going to be luxury, this one. This is a luxury that. product? Yes. Micheline Haddad's husband started the family business more than 20 years ago. It now bakes 10 million pastries a year. How many people do you employ in this We have farm? 50 to 60 people we have. Well, so it's not a huge business, but it's a big employer yes. locally. Yes. When businesses are compulsorily purchased, they have to fund the move themselves and justify any compensation claim. The onus was on you oh, to yeah. say, listen, to this is ourselves. a thriving business. Yes, it is. We had to save ourselves. Is that fair? No, none of it was fair, but, I mean, it's, they had the power, HS2, to do whatever they wanted. I think they had a plan in their minds, which was to go to the big company, some big company, relocate their factory, build a new factory, then sit down with them afterwards and give a bill and go through the process and pay them some millions of pounds. With a small business, it just doesn't work. The small business doesn't have the cash flow to necessarily keep going all the time in its own business, let alone build a new factory. HS2 says it recognises the process can hit businesses like Sweetland hard. The company has had some compensation, but says it's not enough. We borrowed money on the trading of the company and uh, the family put up their houses, their flats, everything they had. You've kind of invested everything yes. into keeping this business Once going. Once for all, like we, we play poker. You've put everything, yes. you've, you've gambled everything, yes. everything's on the table. Yes, yes. Sweetland has had two million pounds to cover its costs. But it says that is half of what it needs. With interest on debts piling up, the family say time is running out. When is the deadline for this? End of December. Everything is gone. If they didn't give us the money, we lose everything. We've spoken to people who say they're literally on the verge of bankruptcy because they're waiting for payments from HS2. Absolutely, it's not, not our intent to, to bankrupt any business. These, con these transactions are very complex. Often there's lots of multiple titles to the land that we have to settle on. And on any individual case, our intent is to pay promptly. We've got to acquire somewhere around eight to 10,000 properties. And one of my responsibilities is ensure that we reconcile the needs to acquire that land and make it value for money. Our job is to find a way of doing that as sensitive as possible, giving people a fair price for their property. HS2 says it's trying to resolve Sweetland's claim. 